Hey everybody, here with Brenna Woodard here um, in this Quick 60. Brenna, good to have you on. Hi, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Um, first of all, what does it mean just to play alongside the players and coaches that you've played with here at SSU? Um, I just feel really privileged and grateful to be a part of this program. I mean, the coaching staff and all the players just put in so much time and effort and they're so dedicated. So it's really just a good experience to be a part of it. Um, what was it like playing soccer growing up in, in Southwestern Ohio? Um, growing up, it was kind of just something that like my sisters did, so it was kind of something that I wanted to try to do, and I, I just fell in love with it from such an early age, so it was a cool thing to be a part of and to learn from it. Um, what was it like playing at Preble Shawnee? I know you mentioned your sisters. They've had a, a big-time history there, and you as well. Yeah, again, just following in my sister's footsteps, kind of, and I feel like a lot of it, a lot of my um, success came from like my teammates. We kind of all played together growing up, so I feel like we were able to build that chemistry and build a good connection. And I feel like that's why we were all so successful and had such a good time playing there. Um, what's it been like making the games that you've made over the past three years? Um, you've, you've been in the midfielder, midfield all three seasons, and I feel like you've really developed your touch and as well as your scoring ability. So that's got to be nice for on your end, too. Yeah, I mean, I, did, I came in as a forward. That's what I was recruited as. So, I mean, the transition was definitely something that I wasn't used to, but... Coach Natasha was always there for me and helped me to develop my game and become a better player and be more developed and just be able to play out of position. And I feel like that was helpful to the team and helpful to my game as well. Uh, what's a soccer player um, that you look up to or try to pattern your game after, so to speak? Um, I would say Julie Ertz from the women's soccer team. I mean, just her, she's such a strong presence in the midfield. I like the way that she like controls the game and has so much confidence. And I feel like she really determines how their game goes. Um, who's a player, an athlete in general, that you try to pattern your attitude or your overall, you know, at work ethic after? Um, I would have to say it's still her. I mean, I just love the way you can tell when she's playing. She's so passionate. She just loves the game, and that's just something that I aspire to be like when I'm playing. Um, what do you hope to accomplish this season? I know halfway through the year already. What do you want to do in the second half of the year as you get deeper into conference play and then the tournament itself goes? Yeah, so I just kind of want to build off of what we have going right now. I mean. We're coming off of three losses right now, which is tough for any team, especially learning, learning, losing our first two conference games. But I feel like we're going to be able to grow from that. And I just want to see everybody on our team kind of learn from what we've done and take that and just build off of it and be better in the next games and try to finish out with a winning record. Um, lastly, who who do you kind of look up to as a whole? Um, who's a role model for you as far as your personal life goes? Um, probably my older sister, Maddie. She played soccer here as well. Right. So it's just kind of cool to try to follow in her footsteps and try to live up to what she did and what she accomplished here.